With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, Trey Young has confidence shooting from just about anywhere. He calls it off the bus range. Explain. Well, and it's tough for defenses to stop, Allie. Thanks for that. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. Taking a look at the Clippers, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. I think for the Kings, they have a game plan and they followed it accordingly. That's why they're in the position they are now. A fantastic team that plays so well together. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. And it's the great and at the three. And for Utah, they've got Junior and it's Doc in at the point. And tonight, the rare marquee matchup at center, Grant. This ought to be a treat. Oh, yes. Two heavyweights slugging it out. A different style, but the same goal. To dominate the painted area. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. Here's Iverson. Takes it inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Utah with the rebound. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Kings. That one in Sacramento. Big loss in their last meeting with this team. Couldn't get anything to fall in that one. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Here he goes. It's a good look from Junior. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. The great with the bucket. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Stevenson. Here's Aceless. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Here's Iverson. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. The Jazz have gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Here's Buckets. And Junior throws it down. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Here's Iverson. The shot off that time. And Utah will come the other way. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Atlanta. And in that game, it wasn't just the starters who played a big part. They got a ton of points off the bench. When you get that kind of a complete effort, that's a game you're going to win far more often than not. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Stevenson. Got a hand on it. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's O'Neal. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Let's the three fly. Buckets with a rebound. Down low. Oh, he lost the grip and he missed the dunk. Fires from deep. Bearing his One second of three attempts. Big day for their backcourt. The their guards have the really timeout. set the tone for the rest of this team. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. So it's both teams making substitutions here. All right, let's take a moment to appreciate some of the NBA's toughest defensive teams. In the third spot, the Jazz. Where this team really makes an impact is on the defensive end. They're a unified front that doesn't make it easy at all to find open looks. Here's House. Second chance shot, and he lays it in. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. On the attack, Rose. 
One thing about Derrick Rose that's never changed over the years, Grant, is his ability to come through in the clutch. When a big basket is needed, he's the guy you want on the court. Well, how many times have we seen him? End of game situation, Rose in an isolation set. And even against a double team, he finds a way to shake free and get the bucket. As dependable as it gets when the pressure's on. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Here's Aceless. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Sacramento. That mid-range jump shot has been a good weapon for them up to this point, guys. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. From deep, Rose. Rebound, Utah. Tipped away. To the inside. Jackson outside. Sacramento again missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And prime time gets it to go. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Sacramento has gone two of five from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's Jackson with the three. Slim with the rebound. And the Jazz pushing it up now. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very yeah, definition of quality transition first offense. First. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Along for the Kings, Derek Rose. Just four seconds left in the first. Unable to get that one. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. The Kings on top, up one. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Well, a lot of confidence for the former league MVP, Derrick Rose. And plenty of experience when it comes to winning games. We know what we have to do, and we know when we get out there that it's one goal, and that's to go out there and win the game by any means. We know that we play well together. We just got to come out aggressive. It's great to see Rose still contributing after all these years. Oh, and some stars, they can't adjust to a changing role like he has. But give Rose credit for adapting and remaining effective in this league. And this goes to. Man, this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And what do you think about the Kings here, guys? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. On the court for the Kings, second quarter underway. We've got Jackson. Derrick Rose is out there with Johnson. And it's ABC in at the one spot. Morant with it. Jackson in his pocket. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Rose, the pass to Johnson, fires the three, another three for Sacramento. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. So both teams making some changes here. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Knocked loose. Pass to Stevenson. Driving inside. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Another three for Sacramento. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. To the right side. Here's the kid. And Sacramento again with the buckets. 
and, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys, make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. So both teams changing it up here. Pass to the great one. Outside Morant. Here's Aismas. Shot clock at six. Cashes it in from 11 feet. He has six. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Now, for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter. About three minutes gone by. Two minutes remaining in the first This one for three. And Morant clears the board. Utah trailing here. Into the lane. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And Morant is a natural leader. Someone who wants to get his guys involved when they're open. Iverson. Tipped. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Ooh, he dialed that one up from long distance. Junior's got 11 points. Man, oh man, that's just absurd range. He can pull it up and hit it from just about anywhere. Timeout call, Sacramento. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum and looking for answers. I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Utah foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. For Utah, they've gone an outstanding seven of seven so far in the second quarter. Here's Boomer. And again, it's Utah with a three. Well, more and more, you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Drives to the hoop. Shots good by Iverson. And the Kings lead by four. Boy, what great body control you saw there. Laying it up and in despite having the defense draped all over him. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Pass to the great. For three. The shot misses. And Utah will come the other way. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Shot's good by Moran. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Iverson driving to the basket. They get it back. Five to shoot. Ooh, good D by Junior. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Opportunistic basketball. Gets a great look at the three in transition. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. And I'm Kevin Harlan. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. And so far, they're out in front but not by much as we head into the half. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see out there from the Jazz? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their patience, their discipline. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. Shaq, what's your take on Sacramento? Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, those shooters are hot. They got a great chance to take control of this game. And that's going to do it for us here. The and we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one.
Sacramento has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. They've got Junior, and it's Boomer in at the center position. That's the group for Utah right now. Fires for three. The great no good. Oh, that was a great effort defensively. Get a hand up in the face of the shooter. It's so important. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. Yeah, ball. Kings in transition. Shots good by Iverson. Give him eight points now. Good fast-paced play there. It's much easier to find a shot when you beat the defense back. And he's going for the oop here. About a minute played here in the second half. To the left wing. Ooh, poked away. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. And Junior throws it down. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. Here's Aismas. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Here again come the Jazz in trend. Oh! oh! And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, this is an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Rose, the pass to Jackson. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Oh! Finish. Oh, did you see that? And he dunks it down. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. It's stolen by Johnson. Takes the three. Poke loose. Utah's gone four of six from three-point range thus far. You know, Doris, Jeremy Lamb has developed some really impressive accuracy, even at deep range. Right, he certainly has. His confidence from way out there in three-point land is really something. Even under pressure, he's proven he can deliver from beyond the arc. And sometimes those are the shots that decide the outcome of the game. That one falls. Three. Give him eight. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Shooting one. And that one falls for Jackson. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Pass to House. Here's prime time. And it's Utah scoring again. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Here's Rose. He's got five. One sixteen left in the third. This for the tie. And the three-pointer goes. And that ties it up. The vision by Rose, right? Hits the open man. He's creating for others. And this guy is so tough to deal with. 
Yes! And the foul! Ja Morant picks one up. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Kings. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. The Jazz making a switch here. Junior's checked in. And the dunk by Jackson. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> It's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Here's ABC. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Since the break, it feels like an entirely new game. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. Here's Jefferson, pounded by Moran. The kick out to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Jefferson. And the Kings with another three. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. The ball's knocked loose. To the paint. O'Neal misses. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. To second personal foul. Second team foul. In for the Kings. Five ticks left in the third quarter of the game. From deep, Moran. The shot no good. And so it's Sacramento leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. We'll be right back. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. All right, a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth quarter. And it's the kid in at the four. We see it happen again. They give the ball away, and it immediately hurts them. Pass to Slim. Here's ABC. Inside, Moran. Yep, that one goes. Able to get that teardrop anytime he wants. Moran has all the shots in his bag. Plays out. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Pass to Slim. Here's House. That's tipped, and it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. Utah ball. From deep, Junior gets the three ball to go. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. The Kings leading. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Kings with another three. three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And it's rejected. Pushing it up now. Pass to O'Neal. Got a piece of it. Covered by Junior. Here's Jefferson. Puts up a three. No luck on that one. Shot on the way. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Clock at six. The three. Nails it from beyond the arc. And the Kings lead by seven. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Utah. And the Jazz call time here. You know, my guess right now is Coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. He told them he likes what he's seeing inside. 
saying, quote, stay on the attack. Getting to the rim is working for us right now. Attack until they stop us. Guys? Thanks for that, Allie. He took the contact and had an opportunity to train it. Shooting for Sacramento, number 18. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. And that's good as he hits both shots. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. And he lobs it up. Just flawless timing right there, right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. He takes it in. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Pass to Buckets. And Junior throws it down. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. And the layup is good. Now just a five-point Sacramento lead. Yeah, they want this to be a transition game. It's where they've been most effective. Yeah, they've had less success when they allow the defense to get set. That's why they want to keep pushing the pace. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. You count the basket. A minute 20 left to play in the fourth quarter. Right wing. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the great one. For Utah, they've gone seven of eight in this fourth quarter. Yet another steal from him. His anticipation has been off the charts. <laughs> off the charts in DBA. I mean, he's just taking the ball away with ease. Pass to Asmus. There's the drive. Count it! DBA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Iverson. Six to shoot. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Are you serious? That is some power from a point guard. Oh, I love backcourt players with some ups. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And the Jazz call time here. They're behind by six. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the free ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. Boomer, offensive rebound. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. 23 seconds left in the final quarter, and they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. And it's Sacramento's ball, and they go to the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Kings, Allen Iverson. At the line for two. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure Kings and comes ball. through. Allen Iverson. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. There's 18 seconds left in the game. He connects! Big ups to this coaching staff. Great play design there. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Sacramento, Allen Iverson taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. 
15 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Asmus. Knocks it loose. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his third personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Kings. They're great. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. Here's prime time. And here's Junior outside. The shot no good. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.